What's up guys? Ice Man here. So T-Von hooked me up with a more budget Fist of the Heavens Paladin build. Because a lot of you guys were making mention of how the one in my previous video was just so freaking OP. Which the truth is, dog, it really was. But that was fine. I just wanted to showcase a freaking GG FOH Paladin build. Because as many of you know, Fist of the Heavens has been buffed for the recent patch in Diablo 2 Resurrected. It now does both demons and undead damage, all right? And I think that's the only buff it received. But it's a big deal because of the fact that the Chaos Sanctuary, for example, is all undead and demons. And I think the pit is as well. And for those of you who watch my videos, you guys know that Little Ice Boy loves to run them pits. So check this out. We have a more, a, a much more budget Fist of the Heavens Paladin, all right? So this one only has a level 28 Fist of the Heavens, and the Holy Bolt damage is 1800 to 1840, which is kind of what counts. Of course, the Lightning damage is only the single target damage, and the Holy Bolts are what do the AoE, all right? I just briefly checked out this guy's gear. He's level 80, and his res aren't maxed out. I do have a mercenary that can help with bosses, obedience. Skin of the Flayed, so pretty cheap there. Uh, pretty cheap rock stopper. Granted, these are socketed, but that's fine. So here it is, man. Spirit. That's right, GGAF Spirit here. Very budget friendly. Generally, you can attain this uh, by Act 2 Nightmare, I would say. You know, oftentimes before, you can find a Crystal Sword in the normal cow level, socket it via Larzuk, get four sockets, and then get the runes. So really, as far as I see it, Act 1 Nightmare, you can easily attain one of these. Peasant Crown, War Hat. Uh, very cheap, easily attainable. Uh, this amulet, nobody really gives a shit about this amulet. Uh, it gives two to all skills, so that's why we're using it. Spirit Shield, again, easily attainable. Uh, just a four-socketed Paladin Shield here. And this one looks like it, uh, it, it had 33 res on it. 33 res all. Tear Haunch, Dwarf Star, Gold Wrap, so it doesn't really help at all, except for the Magic Find. Raven Frost, Skin of the Viper Magi. Now, uh, this thing has a nice Elm Rune in it. It's perfect res, but that's fine, right? And no, not a single freaking charm. Hell yeah. Here's the skills. What do we do here? So, Max Out Holy Shock. Uh, uh, conviction? Okay, put some points into Conviction. Maxed Fist of the Heavens and Maxed Holy Shock. And Maxed Holy Bolt. So this is the non-hammer hybrid build. And uh, I'm going to go to the Chaos Sanctuary now. And I'll begin at the entrance. And let's see how well this guy can destroy demons and undead there. With this shitty gear. Right? I have a feeling it's going to be all right. I think it's going to be uh, quite all right still. This 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 build is great for the Chaos Sanctuary as far as I see it. So let's let's see how it does. So I actually had Nadja's Puzzler on Switch, which is quite nice. All right, so here we go. So I like to have Redemption on, and then cast. Oh my! Look at this. Uh, against this guy, you want to do Holy Bolt. So, where's F5? Here's F5. Kind of out of the way here. I don't know if I like these hotkeys. The way they're arranged, but that's fine. Single target. Look at that. Are you kidding me? Wow. Here we go. Here's, here's a freaking swarm. Look at that, man. Shitty gear. Look how shitty this gear is. We're talking... We're, call we're talking double spirit, man. We're talking peasant crown, all right? Like a like you're a freaking peasant. 
Get it. Peasant crown. You're a peasant. Here. Just wondering. Alright, we're talking. We're talking tear haunch, man. Hey yay! Uh so thank you, T Vaughn, for supplying me with this character. Oh gosh. Oh wow, I let him die. Okay, the mercenary sucks ass. Let's go resurrect him. T Vaughn is uh, one of my most recent channel members. So blessings to you, T Vaughn. And may you have many wives. And he's a generous as a freaking toad one too. He's uh he's of absolute toad status. He yeah. Thank you, T Vaughn, for your support. And uh, I also got uh, Sean Wolf. Yeah, yeah, just yesterday I was playing uh, Elden Ring, and I intend to play some more Elden Ring, just a little bit. I don't know. I was actually, I was enjoying it. You know, I, I wasn't really enjoying it when that game first came out. I'm getting my ass kicked, and I quit. <laughs> I gave up, man. I was like, screw this game. But, <sighs> bad timing, you know, because the relevance of that game is kind of low now. But I do uh, enjoy it now. I had a feeling that's how it was going to go. So I had to give it more time. Look at the holy shield. That looks awesome. I didn't realize how awesome that looked in uh, D2R. Look at that, man. But I was playing uh, Elden Ring and Sean Wolf became a channel member. So blessings to you, Sean. May your finances be blessed. And thank you uh, to all of my uh, channel members and my patrons. Whoops, whoops. Didn't know that thing was still up. So if you guys want to support me, become a channel member or a patron. Links in the description below, or hit that join button. And you do have access to my past live streams, if you're a channel member. But nonetheless, I'm going to stream some Elden Ring. I'm actually going to do that later today. However, this video uh, isn't going to post the day I make it, so it's not going to be this day. Look at this. That's not bad. I could, you could actually be a bit more strategical. Uh, switch over to your Nadja step. Oh. How much magic find this guy have? 30. Just from the belt. Yeah. I mean, what do you guys think about this, though? I think this is really good. This is even better than my expectations. Carry yeah, this buff to Fist of the Heavens, man. I mean, I think there's going to be a lot of Fist of the Heavens paladins. I mean, shit. Maybe I should make one. For the latter reset. I mean, look at this. This would be a spiritual journey, man. But the problem is, I don't think you'd start off as that. I mean, because you'll have to use Holy Bolt. And it's just... You get that at level 6, but, I mean, it's single target. You know, you're only damaging undead and demons with it. It pierces? It pierces? Look at that, it pierces every time. Okay, it pierces. Hell yeah. It doesn't pierce through your homie, though. Does it pierce through your homie? I think it might. Wow, that's impressive. But from early on, I, can't carry I think what you'd want to do, like what I'm going to do, hold up. Hey! Oh, there he goes! Got that little tail thwatted. What did say? Alright, I'm gonna go resurrect him. I just... Feel like a dick, you know? Just letting that guy die. Uh, so what I think I might do... Let's look at the skills. I mean, really, I think zeal wouldn't be a bad idea. Combat skills. Zeal. <clears throat> Although some say Blessed Hammer, right? You go Blessed Hammer. I mean, some say Blessed Hammer until you get to, like, level uh, 60 or something. And then start using FOH. Or maybe level 70. Then uh, go to FOH. Even though there is there are some very nice Blessed Hammer uh, FOH hybrids. But I don't know. Should I embrace the spiritual journey and go zeal uh, from the beginning? What do you guys think? Yeah, there's still the thing with Zeal where 
you can't just hold the left click and auto attack enemies. You got to click on every single freaking enemy, and I find that very annoying. Uh, they took a step in the right direction, but they just didn't go far enough. Where you can like, you can hold the zeal button and you can attack an enemy, but and you can kill it, and then you can still run as you hold the button, and after the enemy dies, but you're not going to auto attack enemies as you would if the same damn attack was on your right click. So the problem then is that uh, you can't have uh, an aura active and embrace that mechanic, you know what I mean? So you have to click on every single enemy. Outside of the ones that your adjacent uh, zeal hits as you're killing the main enemy. So, it's, it's very tedious and I wish they would fix it. So single target here. But let me know in the comments, what do you guys think Ice Voice should do for the ladder reset? Sink in uh, the Corpse Explosion Necromancer. I don't know, I'm, I'm sick of that shit. I've been playing a lot of Necro. Uh, the summons just suck. They're just meat shields. You're just a CE Necro, is basically all you are. Identify this thing. Identify that ring. 30 light res. All right, so this is going to be the biggest challenge, I think. In fact, in this instance, what you want to do is uh, go Conviction. Although, it's not going to help now, is it? Because I'm going to use Holy Bolt against him. However, uh, Redemption won't help either. Oh, look at that. It actually does a, a very nice job. Look at that. Okay, that, now here's Holy Bolt. Which might be even faster. But I'm almost positive. Oh, a Shaco. Look at that. Freaking, freaking shackle, 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 shackle. So, Holy Bolt is only doing magic damage, so you don't take advantage of conviction with that, unfortunately. So when you're fighting Diablo, maybe you want to use something else. Obviously, Redemption, there's no corpses around. I mean, use Meditation. You know, probably use One Point Meditation. It. Don't have meditation. So just put one point in that, maybe. And fight Diablo with that. Or Salvation, of course, would be uh, nice if you don't have max res. But let me know what you guys think about this build. A budget, Fist of the Heavens, Paladin build. Like I said, I'm quite surprised with how well it did. Let's take a look. Let's see, let's see how well it does the Trav. Uh, these builds are known to do the Trav with, with relative ease. And in this case, there we go. Look at look at the lightning destroy him when you have conviction. Problem is, I, I run out, run out of, run out of, of all the good stuff. Holy bolt! Come on, you need some souls. Got it. Um. You don't need the mercenary when you do this. Obviously, they usually die if you don't have a bunch of fire absorbed gear on them or guardian angel or things like that. If you're this slow at killing things anyway, they'll usually die. I mean, it's not bad. Problem is, I'm out of mana. Yeah, I think this build... This might be fun for a letter reset build. Uh, just, just make a paladin. And go zeal or something. More reasonably, uh, for clear speed, you'd probably want to go hammers. Just build your way up to hammers. I mean, yeah, you're going to be running around. You're not going to have Enigma. So it's not going to be that cool. It's going to be quite clunky and slow. Uh, but you're going to be able to kill everything. So as you can see here, the trap isn't that bad. What's really getting me is the res, so I should use Salvation here. All right, but there it is. Support the channel if you guys want. Thank you for your help and your support. Appreciate my viewers and my subscribers. Blessings to you guys. Talk to you all later. Peace be with you.